Live look at those hazy sunny skies over downtown. Real pretty morning and boy this spring weather. Well, it's a spring consequence of our warm winter. What are we talking about? Ticks. Yes, Dr. Nikki Eaton. She's a veterinarian with the Animal Hospital of Polaris. And this is Eddie, one Eddie. of our regular yes. featured guests. Eddie, yes. by the way, does not have ticks. No. We're happy to report. <laughs> but we are seeing kind of like the allergy season people have been talking about, that it's really unbelievable. Same thing with ticks. We're seeing an increase from what I understand. Yes. So what happened is that uh, ticks usually lie dormant okay. during the winter time. And since we didn't really have a winter, they did not really lie dormant mm. at all. So they had all this time to reproduce, and they're reproducing like crazy. Wow. So um, I can honestly say we were seeing ticks in January and February. And now March and April, it's just a huge amount of ticks through that we're the seeing. roof. So yes. kind of an alert to everyone with pets: if it's not something you've experienced before, mm -hmm. don't think it's just in the woods up in Delaware right. County. It's not. It's, it's not. everywhere. Okay, it's everywhere. So it's something uh, we're going to look for. And we brought Eddie in, and the doc brought in tweezers. Tweezers. Because I have never had to deal with ticks. Okay. First of all, I don't know what I'm looking for. If I saw it, I would have no idea what to do other than call you, so. Okay, and well, a lot of people do call us, which is okay. okay. But one of the things that I always tell people is, a lot of times when they're petting their animal, they'll feel something and they'll be like, oh, I think that's a scab. And then they'll look at it and they'll say, oh no, it's a tick. So they're okay. usually very small, black, okay. okay, or a brownish color. When they're engorged with blood, you know how they say fat is a tick? That's sure. You can definitely notice it when it's engorged in blood. So I think a lot of times what people have is when they're not engorged with blood. Mm -hmm. They're just kind of pinhead size. Mm -hmm. So what I tell people to do is um, have tweezers. Okay, and is this something, by the way, I should be looking for? Like once a week, should I do this? Or it's just if, if you notice if it? If your pet is not on some sort of prevention for ticks, get them on a prevention for ticks. Okay. 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 That's the first thing. Yes. Okay. Because we don't want them to get diseases. So hey, Eddie, come baby. Here. Eddie, come on. You be good. <laughs> I know. You be good. I'm going to fix this. you all up. Huh. Okay. Okay. So, common areas where we find ticks on dogs is ears, behind the ears. So, behind you know how ears. people will pet the ears sure, and they'll sure. be like, oh, what's going on there? Okay. Same thing with them, kind of in their armpit area too. So, okay. almost the same thing with people. Now, all you do really is you find something and you're like, oh, that's a tick. So, you just kind of part the fur, Okay. get some rubbing alcohol, that kind of makes the tick kind of squirm around, and okay. you just take the tweezers <laughs> and you try to get the head. So if you look at my tweezers, mm -hmm. they are plastic tweezers, but mm -hmm. they're kind of small. Mm -hmm. um, and so you just grab the tick's head and just in one swoop, just pull. Pull it out. Pull it out. It does not hurt the dog. What hurts more is when you're just going, ooh, ooh, do I get it, did I get it? So, so do it firmly, just, quickly. Yep. Okay, yep. and then what do you do with the tick? I always tell people flush it down the toilet. Get rid of don't it. Don't take any chances. Just flush it right down that okay, toilet. Okay, don't use your eyebrow tweezers. No, we do no. not. <laughs> of, course, of course, you don't want to do that. Eddie, you are so good at the demonstration, and we do want to talk quickly about prevention. The whole morning yes. eating said we all know you do frontline. You brought Advantix. I brought Advantix. This okay. is another product. Okay. So if your pet is not on anything, you need to get them on. Okay. Cats are totally different than dogs, so you need to talk to your veterinarian about prevention for your cat if they go outside. Okay. I know your list is. Long, but if this was the season ever yes. to do it, take the five Please. minutes, get yes. it in. Yes, yes. Call your veterinarian, happy. bring them in, whatever needs to be done. All right, Eddie, you be good. You don't come back with any ticks. You got it. <laughs> you got it. Okay, great advice. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Nikki you. Eaton, the Animal Hospital up at Polaris at 748. Checking